In this video, I'm going to solve a sample problem on comparing alternatives and I'm going to use the rate of return on additional investment method. Here's the problem. A pump for reservoir, may, reservoir must be operated continuously. That is 8,760 hours per year. That's actually 24 hours per day times 365 days. In the event of a large storm, storm, the electricity from the local utilities power grid may be interrupted for an indefinite period of time. To deal with this emergency situation, two mutually exclusive backup diesel generators are being investigated. One of them will be chosen for implementation. Relevant data are provided as follows. Okay. So, initial investment for generator A is 5 million pesos, while for B, it's 6.5 million pesos. Annual operating and maintenance cost, 475,000 pesos for A and 400,000 pesos for B. And for the useful life, it's 15 years for A and 20 years for B. If salvage values of both generators are negligible, which generator should be chosen? The minimum acceptable rate of return is 10% per year. <clears throat> so again, we use the rate of return on additional investment method. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we determine the annual cost for each generator. Okay, so let's start with generator A. So, for the annual cost, we start with the depreciation. And in this case, normal na method na gamiton is sinking fund method. So, depreciation using sinking fund method is this. Actually, it's first cost minus salvage value. But then, for the given problem, uh, zero um, salvage value. So we only have first cost over this factor. F given A, I percent in. And the formula is this. Uh, first cost times I over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. And least for life niya is 15 years. So the depreciation cost is 157,368.88. Okay. The other one is the operating and maintenance cost. This is given is 475,000. So, yeah, the total annual cost is 632,368.88. Same for generator B. Depreciation using sinking fund method. Okay. 6.5 million um, F given a 10% niya in 20 years. So we have first cost times I over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. It's 113,487.56. Operating and maintenance cost 400,000. So the, the total annual cost is. 513,487.56. So from the two values of annual cost, we now compute the net annual savings. Okay. So for this method, since B has a bigger initial investment, it is assumed that the annual cost is smaller compared to cheaper na generator so that we can have ano, savings na, na 
if we choose generator A, this, this is our annual cost, 632,368.88. But if we prefer generator B, having a higher initial investment, our annual cost is 513,487.56. So, makasave ka. Instead of spending, or instead of having this annual cost, we only have 513,000 plus. So, we compute, or we determine in the net annual savings. 632,000. 68.88 minus 513487.56. So the net annual savings is 118,881.32. So the formula for our ROI on additional investment is this net annual savings over additional investment. And the additional investment is 1.5 million. Taken from the two values now. If we choose generator A, uh, it only requires 5 million pesos. But if you want to choose generator B, we need to have 6.5 million pesos. Therefore, we need, we need an additional investment of 1.5 million pesos. So this one, net annual savings over additional investment. And our ROR is 7.925. And this is less than 10%. No? So, given man, the minimum acceptable rate of return is 10% per year. So, uh, the idea here is if the computed ROR is less than the required, it means now we have to choose the cheaper na alternative in this case it's generator a came as cheaper much as 5 million compared to generator b oh and if the if the computed ror is greater than the required we have to choose the investment alternative with the bigger na investment but for this one it's less than the required, so therefore, we choose generator A. This is consistent with our um, um, conclusion sa previous method. So, that's it. So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.